Hi, Gal. Thank you again for um, devoting your time and your knowledge to us all today. Um, my question is about the long-term viability of Bitcoin. Um, earlier in this conversation, we just acknowledged that the volatility due to geopolitical issues, technical issues, etc., and the demand-backed nature of Bitcoin makes it a poor medium of exchange. And the best way to retain its long-term value, as you mentioned earlier, is to transition to using it as a store of value. Um, which factors, so two-prong question, which factors do you think catalyze Bitcoin's transition into a store of value? Um, and I guess in that, what has to align systematically to allow Bitcoin holders to see their coins as assets or backing their currency with it? And the second prong of the question would be, um, what determines its final value as a store of value? For example, uh, if I purchased it at you know, $50,000 today and the value dropped before it was established as a store of value, would I still retain my purchase price, the value of my purchase price? What creates this as a, st as a store of value? I think that one is um, a little easier to to answer. Um, Not so much what creates it, but what catalyzes its transition and which factors have to align systematically for it to be established as a store of value. Well, What uh, has to happen? What has to happen is we need to continue down this road of overprinting and, and, and that's really it. So, you know, I'm not necessarily, you know, Bitcoin, right? Like, the reason I'm looking at Bitcoin is because the dollar is crap, right? It's shit. It's paper. It's worthless. So now, and so like we know that the paper currencies aren't good store of values, right? Dollar, 7.5% inflation, bur, salasa, percent inflation. So as just a level-headed person, I'm, you know, I'm not an investor, I'm just a regular person. How do I store my energy? I don't have enough money for a house. Do I have to buy a Vitz? That doesn't seem, I don't want one, <laughs> you know? So gold, yeah, gold might work. It's a good store of values, come historically, 4,000 years. Um, jewelry, um, you know, Someone in, you know, Qatar, Ethiopia might say, you know what? Uh, my store of value. My, my cows and my, my, my cattle are my store of value, right? That, that might be their store of value. But for me, I live in a digital world. I work online. You know, Bitcoin is the best alternative, be purely because the dollar is not working. And what needs to happen is the dollar needs to continue not working. And I think that's what's going to happen because there's no intent to slow down printing or to, to you know, slow down some of their actions at the Fed. So we'll see inflation continue. And I think that will be a catalyst of its own. And then once it gets to a certain value, it's just going to be an asset. It's, you know, uh, you know, we can't ignore it, you know? It's it's nagar, uh, Hallelujah. I guess to some degree you might have answered it in answering the first one, but to reiterate what you're saying is what catalyzes its transition as a store of value would be the failure of other, okay, other uh, modes of currency. Um, in comparison. Right? In comparison, yeah. okay. You don't anticipate that there's going to be any other catalysts because, I mean, okay. hypothetically, as a retort, um, other modes of currency being as volatile as they are, Bitcoin is also a pretty volatile mode of exchange. So, I mean, other um, events, other factors, uh, you might have geopolitical issues, right? You might have people sick of the West, right? Sick of the actions of America and say, you could have been, right? That's a factor. Like, I'm very emotional. Uh, financial incentive but I am very you know emotional <laughs> you know so when I hear of America you know doing this and that I could have been, you know I'm gonna leave that system right so that might and we're, we're kind of seeing this in recent you know with what's going on in, in Europe um, 
what other factors might lead to the growth of Bitcoin. I think, you know, people understanding that um, sometimes the state doesn't have the best uh, uh, interests at heart for the individual. I think those, those type A of things. A distrust of banking systems. Distrust okay. of uh, banking? <laughs> you know, entire countries and states and manifestos and, you know, uh, I think what is that? So we'll see. I don't know. Okay, second question. Sorry, I'm almost done. We're almost done. We have one more person there. Okay. Just, just okay. do it very quickly. Um, what does, I, my, my second question was what determines its final value as a store of value? You c might have touched on this already when it reaches a certain cap. Maybe it'll transition into that. But, um, because it is so volatile in nature, in the hypothetical sense, if I do buy it at a certain cost uh, and it drops in value before it's established as a store of value, do I still, do you anticipate return the value of my pur purchase price? Uh, I, you know, a lot of things can, uh, can affect the markets and, and the, the Bitcoin exchange market is, is very free. There are buyers, there are sellers, right? So if you have a lot of sellers, the price will theoretically move towards zero, right? Um, now, when does that saturate, or when you know what's the high side? The high side for me is um, Bitcoin at millions of dollars per coin, and a market cap of you know fifty to a hundred trillion of energy, right? It sounds funny saying it, but that's the potential. Um, and again, with other factors, I think uh, Fortune 500 companies moving into Bitcoin, having it on their balance sheet. So the companies on the, you know, the capital markets, the stock exchange and X, Y, and Z. So the moment more Teslas and maybe Disney and maybe Ford, X, Y, and Z, the moment they get into Bitcoin, I think that's also going to be a big event. Um, and in terms of pricing, it, it might go down. I, mean, I, I, I can't promise it'll, it'll you know. Um, but the target or, or, or the wealth, uh, I think, could stand at 50 to 100 trillion um, and a per token price of millions.